From boats and cars to helicopters and planes, it is a celebration of all things remote controlled. Horizon Hobbies RC Fest is back in Monticello, and storyteller Aaron Valley went and got a little sneak peek for us. I think the last time I drove a remote controlled car, I was 10, but today I did. It all changed. It was so much fun. So whether you're an RC fanatic or just looking for a spectacle, you can find all sorts of fun this weekend at this festival. Take a look. It's such a, such a cool hobby. It gets a little bit of a bad rap sometimes as being nerdy, but I mean, you know, we have so many different aspects. Whether you want to sit inside your, you know, your, your living room on a lounger playing with a small RC crawler or car, or you want to go out to a field and fly a 16-foot wingspan airplane or a jet that does 200 miles an hour, it's limitless. It's there for you. Horizon Hobby product developer Ali Mashinchi has been flying remote-controlled airplanes since he was three years old. Now, you can see him in action this weekend in Monticello. So, a bit like an old classic car, it has a choke on the carb, so I've choked it, and now I'm going to flick that open and uh, put the electric starter on it and get it going. What began as a childhood pastime in the UK morphed into a hobby and then a career selling RC airplanes. Time remaining nine minutes. He's traveled around the world as a demo pilot, showing off at events like this one. So this is what I do. I design and develop and bring to market RC uh, range control airplanes. Um, here at the event, RC Fest, I'll be on this flight line doing demos. So flying stuff like this airplane, some jets, um, working with my son who also flies RC and doing some synchronized demos. Today, Ali's giving me a peek at what's to come, taking this two-scale model of a carbon cub plane to the sky. Yeah, everything we can do to try and mimic the real aeroplane we do. So you see the, the navigation lights and the landing lights and the control surfaces, just like the real aeroplane. And believe it or not, while this RC plane is just a model, it's still about half the size of the real deal. If you stick it next to the small fat guy, it kind of gives it a, a bit more of a scale of how big it is. So that's a, always a good shot. But what might be a stress-relieving activity for some could also be a stepping stone into aviation, engineering, and design. The familiar storyline is that we start in RC. Um, we like airplanes. We're airplane nerds through and through. So we start with radio control, and that somehow evolves into flying full-scale. I've got my pilot's license. Probably about half the people in the hangar today are uh, full-scale pilots um, as a secondary hobby. So, yeah. Across from the runway, a crawling course designed for open play and competition. You kind of look around, there's a lot of gnarly features, and we've added a Jeep over the background here. Um, you crawl through up and around on the hood and everything else, but it's a lot of fun. All right, I'm here with Greg, who's going to show me how it's done. You mind if I take the wheel? <laughs> so this is your trigger finger, so that's your gas. And then if you bring your thumb around right there, you can steer with your thumb. This is fun. I don't want to hurt your precious, oh, precious vehicle. <laughs> If you have time, please come out. It's such an amazing festival for a small town in Monticello to put on. It's a lovely community. The event has that vibe. It has that aura. There's sharing to be done. It's not just a spectator thing. There's hands-on for everybody, whether you want to run a boat, run a car, fly a plane. We've got it all here, so make the time and come out. That was a look at Horizon Hobby RC Fest happening in Monticello. The event, kick us, the event kicks off tomorrow and lasts through Saturday evening. For a full schedule of events, we've got you connected to the RC Fest website online at ciliving.tv. All right, thanks, Aaron.